to five minutes to better sleep. I am Dana Stone and I'm the owner of Rest Assured Consulting. I am an adult and child sleep coach. So I work with infants all the way up to adults on getting a better night of sleep. So today we are gonna talk about some of the sleep thieves that are keeping us from sleeping well and the reasons why you really need to take this seriously. So around the globe and in the US, sleep is just not as big of a priority as it needs to be. But if you think about it, it is the absolute foundation of our health. There is not a single system in our body that can run optimally without sleep. So we're gonna discuss some stats and then we're gonna dig into the biggest sleep thieves and some ways that you can change your sleep habits right now. Seven out of 10 adults are experiencing problems that affect our sleep quality. 30% of Americans report that they are sleeping less than six hours and 69% of teens report that they are getting less than seven hours of sleep each night. Why is this a big deal? Getting only six hours of sleep each night increases your chances of obesity by 23%. Now, when that drops down to five hours of sleep each night, you are now at a 50% chance of obesity. And we all know how many ailments are linked directly to obesity, right? So women who sleep less than six hours of every night will actually increase their chances of breast cancer by 60%. So these are some amazing stats and we need to start taking sleep a little bit more seriously. So what are some of those thieves that are taking away our sleep? Let's talk about those now. Number one, one of the biggest factors, and it may come as no surprise, is caffeine intake. This can affect your sleep five, six, seven hours after you have consumed it. So if you're having caffeinated beverages after say noon, that can definitely have an effect on how quickly you fall asleep and the quality, quality of your sleep during the night. All right, number two is alcohol. Now, many believe that alcohol actually helps them fall asleep faster, take some of the edge off, but in actuality, it prevents you from cycling through your sleep cycles as efficiently. It robs you of some of your precious REM sleep and it can disrupt your um, entire cycle through the night. Now, how many of those nights that you've stayed up late having some drinks with friends and you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna sleep in the next morning and suddenly you're wide awake at 6 a.m. and you don't know why. It really can affect your sleep so much and long-term use of alcohol continues to disrupt our sleep cycles over and over again. Number three is hormone imbalances. You know, everything in our body is chemically driven, right? All the hormones in our body and they're on our circadian rhythm and we've got hormones that tell us to get up and get sleepy and get hungry and digest our food and everything in our body is neurotransmitters firing. Well, these hormones can have a significant impact on our quality of sleep. Iron, magnesium, vitamin D are three of the really big ones. And if you have a deficiency in some of these, you're gonna see some effects on your sleep. Now, some of them are directly linked to some sleep problems. Um, and sometimes you can just start to take a supplement and those can dramatically improve. Now, iron is directly linked with RLS, which is restless leg syndrome. But there are other things that are affecting our endocrine system even so much like BPA. I know you've probably heard a lot about that in the news and plastic bottles and how it can mimic our estrogen in our body. And so it can wreak havoc on our sleep. So remember that hormones can have a big impact as well. All right, so what are we talking about for number four? Anxiety and stress. Did you know that you are 20 times more likely to suffer from depression if you have insomnia? Um, anxiety and stress can really tear up what's going on with our sleep cycles. It can make it difficult for us to fall asleep and it can make it very difficult for us to stay asleep. And through those transitions during the night and we wake up and we find it hard to fall back asleep. So um, finding some meditation practices and reducing the amount of anxiety that you have around sleep, but also around the stresses of the day can make a dramatic effect on your sleep. Our last one today is going to be air quality. Believe it or not, air quality can have a dramatic effect on our sleep. 
So what can we do about that? What do I mean by air quality? Well, it could be pollutants in the air. Um, it could be things that are causing allergens in your body. Um, so one of the things that you can do to increase the air quality is look at the kind of air filters that you are using in your home. Make sure that you're not skimping here, but also something you can do is purchase plants, fresh life plants that you can put into your room to help increase the circulation and help kind of clear out some of the toxins that are in the air. So air quality is a big, big deal. And maybe even so much as air qual quantity uh, along with your air quality. So things like obstructive sleep apnea, where you're reducing the amount of air that you're getting can really constrict and affect the type of sleep that you're getting. Caffeine, alcohol, hormones, anxiety, air quality and quantity. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. So that's what my job is as a sleep consultant is to kind of know where these things and how these things are affecting you. If you're interested in possibly talking about an evaluation, just to kind of see where you are at, I would be happy to chat. Please reach out to me at Dana at restassuredconsulting.com. I'm here for you and I want to get everyone a better night's sleep.